Hey guys, welcome to, uh, I don't know, intro to the secret world. <clears throat> now, before I really get started playing the game, uh, I've already made an Illuminati. I've already made a Templar. They all have their own videos to play, but I'm not going to play those. Um, I had some people that wanted to see what the game looked like, so I told them I'd make my third character a dragon. <clears throat> and, uh would record it so this will probably be a pretty long video and I'll do the the tutorial fighting I probably won't get to the to the main area I don't know yet I don't want it to be too long but we'll see um, the game is is a power hog my computer can play it pretty well uh, usually anywhere between 19 to 40 frames just depending on what's going on uh, but I am running a recording software behind it and it does seem to drop the the frames by a little bit so <clears throat> if you see lots of skipping or something it's you know partly the game partly the computer so don't fault me but let's play this video and check it out chaos를 이론적으로 정의해 볼까 okay 그건 천 개의 동전을 공중에 던지는 것과 같다 하나하나의 동전이 떠올랐다가 떨어지면서 정의와 탐욕 관용과 처형, 고난과 따분함을 결정하는 것이다. Oh, and I am playing the game of Ultra. 누구일까? 우리는 동전의 어느 한쪽 면도 아니다. 그저 운명이 우리를 위해 움직이기를 바랄 뿐이다. 우리는 동전이 아니라 동전을 던지는 손이다. 동전이 그리는 궤적이고 동전을 흔드는 거친 바람이기도 하다. Wow, he's wrinkly. Sell some in Choconetara, Kelgon and Talajiman. Arm looks good. Good morning, Kelgon and Park Hago, Toja Karibo, Norokanda. Black hole PC. Tongue Tongjani Tarajan Erin and Doman. Urin, Kong Shigal Mandel Gokes and his son. Tap Tongjani, all the Tarajilchi, yet Kanda. Tongjani Tarajan Taumen, Otto Kelka. They make a lot of noise. 우리는 상황에 따라 적당히 조절한 다음 동전을 다시 공중으로 튕긴다. 우리는 드래곤이다. 이론이 정의하는 범위를 넘어 카오스를 제어한다. 예. Let's be chaotic. Let's change that. Yep, I'm just doing it the way you would do it in the game. Give him some makeup. No, I'm just playing. The dirty Sanchez. No, I don't want to do that. That's pretty cool. Let's make his hair. Yeah, I like that pretty good. Give him some stiblies. Wow, no, you're not frankly. <laughs> no. No, that is funny looking. That's pretty cool. You already did a character with that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no. That, no. <laughs> uh, definitely not. <coughs> let's do that, but let's make it. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Sure, why not? Clark Kent. Yeah, that goes better. 
There we go. Okay, let's see if I can actually make this. Tsunami. Bacon. I wonder if, I wonder if that's how you spell it or if it has another N in it. I didn't look it up. Baconator. We'll just do that. <coughs> Beacon. Yay! Tsumami, Baconator, Beacon. I looked up the Japanese word, or the Chinese word for bacon. It says they don't actually have it in the kanji. But the closest would be Beacon. B-E-K-O-N. <coughs> I don't know how accurate that is, considering it was on a forum, but still more knowledge about it than what I would have. And this game takes forever to load. Developments in Tokyo, where the military is maintaining a heavily guarded perimeter around the site of last month's terrorist attack. The Japanese government has stated that an unidentified radical political group released a biological agent in the end Tokyo of Tokyo somewhere a bee? one kilometer from Orochi Tower. Although the area has been evacuated, there have been eyewitness reports of activity inside Random the Random B. Including ongoing fighting between Orochi security personnel and armed civilians. Authorities are denying these reports. I'm serious. I'd be freaked out if a bee flew in my mouth. This is nasty. My nipples look like milk duds. You will see the end of days. You will see the dawning of a new age. I don't wanna. To be a monarch or a beggar, to lose everything or to become a god. Ooh, floaty rocks in a to planet. To stand with floating. us. I guess that's the moon. Or against us. Who's we? The choice is yours. Remember this. Be mindful of the voices. Listen to the voices they will that whisper, whisper in your sleep. sleep. That's just creepy. You are with the chosen, you are with but the you chosen, must choose for but yourself. You must make the right choices. You are cursed with free will. You are cursed with free will. We are here to I'm guide you to the light. It's not tattoo. my place to intervene, but then this is Even if is this is merely a dream, dream. make the right make choices. Make the right choices. Bees! And, and be mindful, mindful of, of the voices, the voices that whisper. They corrupt. For they speak the truth. Jesus, why is this? Aw, oh, man. <coughs> yeah, no doubt. Get you a drink of water, man. Oh, and the coat, it was a robe. Boom! Shouldn't leave your CDs laying in the floor to get scratched. That's how my living room, <coughs> living room looks when my daughter comes home. You know, why can't I do that in the game? It's freaking awesome. Laser beam Rs. Or laser shower. I could do that. <laughs> but can you juggle? to you, mommy. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah, each one of these scenes are different. 
someone, if you, whoever you pick, this is who your correspondent will come be. Wow, you're a big guy. <laughs> Alright then, he doesn't even say anything. I kind of like this one the best. He just comes in, knocks your ass out, and says, Alright, I'm done. Alright, so here's where we're going to get to run around in the Korean level. So far I've got, I've been to London, and I've been to New York. So, we get to check it out and see what's up. I like this game. Uh, it, it totally fits my, I don't know, genre of game that I like. I've been speaking for years. I'd love a survival horror MMO, and this is about as close as they've gotten so far, really. From all the other MMOs I've played. And it's love crafty in nature. That just makes it freaking awesome. So, but like I said, this game is a power hog. They, were, they, they really should have optimized it a little better. <coughs> I mean, I'm sure there's people out there with $4,000 computer rigs that are like, oh, it runs great. But, uh, you know, it runs fine on mine. I don't have any issues with it. Just saying it kind of singles out a lot of people to play it by doing it that way. Star Wars was great because it had decent graphics, but, you know, an old computer can play it too, so. But it runs like Age of Conan did, and I played Age of Conan, so I <clears throat> can't really blame them too much because there's not really that much difference in it. Come on! Load. Don't make me shoot blue flames out at the screen, blow you up. So, I've never been to this area before, so this will be new for me. So we'll run around and explore explore a little bit like I said we'll do the tutorial battle that's been the same for the last two so I'm gonna assume it's go gonna be the same for this one too <sighs> if it will ever load falling asleep here don't make me pull out habanero beef stick I will totally eat it got it in my hand right now The ability wheel is pretty cool. Uh, you can choose these decks, which will, you know, tell you which uh, abilities to buy to make said build, or you can just freeform it and do whatever you want. And uh, my brother said that you get, you know, enough ability points to fill everything up to full. So I don't know how that'll work. So. Okay, let's play the game. It's a butterfly. <laughs> they shocks me on a f Ah, uh, what? Okay then. Well, at least I put a tattoo on my face. It seems to fit with the whole thing. Let's, see, let's turn on the frames. There we go. I'm at 34 frames right now. I'm Baconator. Fear me. Head towards the butterflies. Uh, I wasn't paying a bit of attention. Oh wow. Uh, what? Uh, what? Dang. Takes forever to bring them. Oh, there's no memory. Oh, butterflies. Yay! I love you, butterfly. Let's sprint. So if I go this way, it gets all black in my movie on me.
still game had weather in it. Well, well, I mean, I know that you see the weather. It's got nice wet surfaces. That's cool. But so far, it does have a night and day transition, but I haven't seen it actually um, like have different weather effects. Karaoke, cool. It's in here somewhere. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've, um, I've seen. Are you, are you familiar with the butterfly effect? I'd be nice if hmm? she's actually singing. It asserts Maybe she's that so just a tiny change in initial conditions can dramatically oh, change the long-term behavior of a system, like, um, like a butterfly's wings affecting the weather system, turning a light breeze into, into a tsunami. Yeah, wouldn't it turn mm. a light breeze into a tornado? Most people take this to mean there's no way to predict or find patterns in a system so easily affected by tiny, random, seemingly insignificant events. But, but, chaos theory is not about chaos. It's about order. It's about finding the underlying order in apparently random data. Mm. Mm. In chaos. Oh? In other words, um, chaos isn't, uh, uh, chaos uh, isn't. There's always order. Always. That order is what the dragon chases relentlessly. What they're doing is experimentation. They are testing the systems. Well, they like reading really butterflies. Bad so that they can discern the patterns. The more random data they introduce to the system, the more data they get back. They creating a model of the universe, one tornado at a time. Uh, but this, this is a controlled experiment. So the dragon ensures that with or every hurricane. tiny random the change, they remain in complete control. They are ruthless planners. And what they're doing, what they're planning, is acts of... Chaos. In a way, no. they are terrorists. Except their acts of terror are small, seemingly without consequence. They don't blow up buildings or planes. They don't murder the innocent. They don't have a doctrine. What they are doing is a lot more subtle, a lot more uh, effective. They now have enough data in their models now to predict causality, at least to some degree. They put you somewhere, they have a good My idea what's wet. going to happen. That's what it's all about. Why you've been brought here to Seoul. I'm sure you're asking yourself, why me? Hmm? Why now? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters now is that you've been brought here because they want you here. They need you here. There's a monk back there. Everything from the moment they visited you until this conversation, it may seem like a series of coincidences, random events. <laughs> Carefully planned. Part of a model they've designed. Part of a system. System. It's an experiment. Don't you see? Everything has a purpose. So if I punch you in the face, Everything what purpose will that be? It's true. Sooner or later, they all go upstairs. They all float. Sing for me, woman. Can I help you? Come on, have a duo. I don't know what we're singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not really singing anything. And I can't read that. Looks like it says Narabang. I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna leave that. So this is how the conversations work. It's really cool. You click on this, it brings this up. And then me? Oh, I. <laughs> I used to be a professor of history at a prestigious university in America. The board, they, um, they let me go. Community I lost college. my tenure. 
They said I was mentally unstable, but I know what happened. You found order. Someone got to them, and they probably never even knew. As far as they're concerned, I was a troublemaker. If you keep clicking these... That's how the dragon operates. Sato Terra. Arranging the pieces just so to... <clears throat> but you know all about that. I don't need to. <sighs> At first, I thought it was all just a coincidence. The documents I found, the books I came across, the information I uncovered. But they wanted me here, so they made sure I came here. I'm a resource to them, and as long as they need me, I can't leave. You can't leave. I mean, I can try, but... I can never leave. See, and then I'm done with that conversation. So you can just keep clicking all these. I remember the first time I came across those letters. I was fascinated and terrified, but I knew I wouldn't Nora be Bang. able to let the opportunity pass. To learn about the existence of the secret world, a secret history of the world. As the years passed, I became more and more obsessed. I lost my job, my wife. It, it took over my whole life, uncovering and documenting the secret world. I felt this was my life's mission. Nothing else mattered to me. I was blind. I didn't realize I was being used. They wanted me to document the secret history of the world, but not so that I could go public with it. I'm their private historian now. I'm their tool. I belong to the dragon. That's pretty cool. Let's hear oh, about the dragon. the dragon. They are... <laughs> they're nothing less than the greatest mystery and marvel of the secret world. Really? From the moment I learned of their existence, I was fascinated. I've studied them, chased down obscure clues, attempted to decipher their complex past. Hmm. Some days I feel the only thing I've learned is that there's so much left to learn. I've only seen scattered pieces. If you find this part of boring, just uh, but skip you ahead on look the video. long enough at those pieces, and a pattern begins to emerge. Shapes and colors, whispered voices like the buzzing of bees. bees. I haven't done this yet, so I want to talk. It may seem like chaos, but there is a beauty and order to it all. Events set in motion to ripple across the world, and the world bends to the dragon's will. Order through chaos, construction through destruction. Hmm. See what they say about the Illuminati. I could talk for hours about the Illuminati. Well, let's not. Yes. I don't have hours. They were once a great and arrogant beast, not unlike the Templars today. But they got burned and were forced to change and adapt. The Templars outmatched and outwitted them in Europe, and they did the only thing they could do to save themselves. They fled to the New World. They regrouped and rebuilt. Hmm. The Templars underestimated them, left them to grow like a cancer until it was too late. They are even more powerful now than they were back then, and a lot more modern and adaptable than the Templars. The Illuminati is built like a corporation. It's cold and pragmatic and not tied to traditions or doctrine. They, they are all about Dr. the bottom Wiley. line, power. Money, influence, control. They're obsessed with it. I'm not even sure they know what to do with it anymore. Once they have it, other than spread their web even further. There is no grace, no beauty, no purpose. But it is efficient. I'll give them that. The bull in the china shop. They see themselves as refined aristocrats, but they are brutes. Anyone gets in their way, they get trampled, and they completely lack the ability to change. Oh, 
doing pretty good so far. But why would they want to change? They are in a position of enviable power, more so than any other secret society. No vote passes on the Council of Venice unless the Templars are behind it. They have a tradition on their side. They have a weight. They have the biggest standing army of any cabal. I'm told that there are changes happening within the organization, the so-called New Templars. But theirs is a slow ship to turn, and based on historical data, I don't see the more radical elements being successful. Well, Not no. in the long run. Well, if the world's ending, Temple really Hall is built on a foundation of history, tradition, and blood. Demons, too. Without that, the roof will sooner or later come crashing down on their heads. But the Phoenicians. The Brotherhood of Phoenician Sailors is supposedly the black sheep of the secret world. To be honest, I don't see a great deal of difference between what they do and what the rest of them have done. What the Phoenicians lack is the support of the council and the power to push their agenda through a vote. It's not like the big three are bastions of morality. They're all willing to sell each other out if it serves their cause. The Phoenicians are just a little more willing to turn their coats than the rest of them. Don't really hear they too sell much their about services the to the highest bidder, and more often than not, they're just in it for the money. That's where they differ from the others, and so they are labeled privateers. Huh. But why should that surprise anyone? The Phoenicians have never tried to hide who they are. And they have not changed in more than 2,000 years. That's a pretty long time. They're the favorite punching bag of both the Illuminati and the Templars. And the Phoenicians seem to take it in their stride. Still, I fear the Council and its members may be underestimating the Phoenicians at this point. You can only kick a dog so many times before it bites. I believe we'll soon see how hard they can bite. The dragon does Maybe not belong to any place. Uh, this is they simply where they are now. And it's like a maelstrom pulling everything in, spitting out what it doesn't want. So, If you land here and stay here, you're important to them in some way or another. You might know why and how, or you might not. But just being here means that you are. This place, this neighborhood within Seoul, is like a dragon itself. It's a maze, an illusion, it's chaos, it's the dragon. The competition and infighting between the big three is not new. It's been going on for literally ages. It used to be that they would meet in the open and fight to the death, but it came to a point at the Battle of Armageddon. It was the clash of the titans, and the world was almost destroyed in its wake. From that day on, the societies agreed there needed to be rules. If the world was ever to discover that it was being ruled by a small elite, and that the demons and monsters of the night are more than figments of our imaginations, there would be widespread panic, and our society would crumble. Oh, you think? So they formed the Council of Venice, a council governed by the cabals to keep their world secret. All the major and minor players have representatives, and they have the authority to police the other societies, to a degree. You can only imagine how hard it is to govern those who wish to govern themselves, how difficult it is to deal with as many agendas as there are member societies. But for all the failings of the council, there is one thing they are in full control of, the secret war. Rather than having agents fight each other all over the place, risking death and exposure, the council allows for organized battles in approved locations that where the, the secret three. societies the can fight the for the open. control of resources far from the public eye and with as little blood spilled as possible. All right, so that'll probably be the extent of my talking. That just can gives I you a good you? introduction to, you know, all the different groups and secret worlds and just jig jig jog. Hell, I didn't even know to go up here. Whoa. 
dude, you are in your underwear. Please get out of the way. Oh, okay, never mind. I know why you're in your underwear. Or not. Nobody talks in this. It's like, dude's in his underwear and he has nothing to say. <laughs> Well, all right then. This is random. That's just freakish. You need to leave. You're creeping the guy out in your tidy whities Okay then. You're shy. Dude, I could explode you with my Shy, finger. Shy, confused, lost. Hmm. You're not lost anymore. The dragon found you. And now, you Fate. found me. Everything happens for a reason. Every event, no matter how small, has consequences they will ask you to do things and most of the time you will not know why or what the consequences may be it is the curse of the dragon we do not know why we do what we do but we do it regardless because they tell us it is right who is they from chaos there is order. Order. And clarity. Well, this is really confusing. The one moment of absolute clarity comes in that brief exhalation of ecstasy. When our minds are empty, we are receptive to the truth. Most of the time, you will not understand their reasons. You will not be able to see the consequences of your actions. There is one event you must understand. My shirt's still on. It doesn't work too good. It's my job to help you see it. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. That's totally random. Okay, so here comes the tutorial fight part. Uh, my apologies to anyone young that had to see that. I had no idea that was going to happen. I will tell you that the dragons have the most interesting way of making me go back in time. <laughs> well, however it's got to be. It's got to be. So is that how she gets all these people to to do that stuff? Because if so, she must hate her job. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe she loves it. The dragon's pimp hand is strong. Why is it loading twice? You don't need to load twice. You just need to load. It's all shut down. Kaiden Cho. Everything. Hey, look, it's me. From the park to, to Arachi Tower. SDF quarantine. Good news for Tokyo, bad news for us. I thought the dragon thrived on chaos. Someone once told me the Illuminati had all the answers. They're saying a bomb. It's never just a bomb. Something worse. Hey Something guys, guess what? I had sex it. to get so back here. Fight. Isn't that awesome? That's what us Templars do. I enjoy a good fight. It's just these trousers are bloody velvet. Sarah! Thank Gaia! Uh, no. Baconator. Are you okay? Alright, let's look around a little bit. How are you feeling? Also, if you spin really fast like this, whoosh, your frames will drop. Whoosh, whoosh. Usually. Especially when you're outside. See? I just had a frame drop and I don't know why. Okay! So, how you pick quests in this game is you'll see people with these these things like the dialogue and 
That'll be your quest, and you can read it. This must be a dream. And Tokyo aftermath. Through another's eyes, follow the lead of the secret world agents. Work your way through the station down in the heart of darkness. I might add some music to this section. I don't know. If yet. Zuberi was here, he'd tell us this is the worst time to argue. Well, he's not. He's down there somewhere. Sarah, get your gun. I'm not Sarah. But I will get my gun. I pull out my gun. Open the gate. Oh wow, his pimp ham was strong too. Fuck me. Oh. Uh, no. My. My name might be Sarah, but that's not gonna happen. Watch out! Let's shoot it in the face. Ooh. Nice shooting. How many have they got in there? Uh, too many. It's gone viral so fast. If this gets out into Tokyo, it doesn't. We stop it here, whatever it takes. Overcome the filth, so I guess they're called the filth. And the door magically opens. Because she did something to the ground. Thanks for the encouragement, Alex. Let's go this way. Oh wait, Let's no, that's the wrong way. Take it like all the other occult disasters, right? We really have to stop mixing like this. Right, let's go fight some more. More fighting. I'm impaired. Let it get on you. Don't even breathe in. It's reacting to us. You can't like die in this, so I mean, this stuff can't be fake. It's a cancer. Cancer doesn't know you're coming, it just is. Yep. <clears throat> hey, I want a water bottle. Your health regens fairly quickly. So far, I got two skills. I got uh, Powder Burn. Builds one resource for each equipped weapon. Single strike does 194 damage. Paired, knocked to the ground. I have a pump action, which uh, hits up to five enemies in a 60 degree. That's pretty cool, 132 physical damage. Now I have Knee Capper, which uh, affects three enemies, 60 degree, and it hinders them, which slows their ability to move. I might add some music right here, I don't know. Incoming! Uh, I totally missed with that skill. Oh wait, those weren't enemies. Bad music, it might cut out my voice. Back, right? so. We'll just have to wait. I was pacing myself. Listen, Sarah. You have to find Zuberi. We'll hold them here. Make a stand. Consume all shotgun resources. A single target text. Now, uh, every time you do this, it builds a resource, and you'll see it going up somewhere. I don't think I have any. Yeah, dude. And that increases. That's uh, pass passive abilities, and this is active abilities. Oh my god! Let's dodge that. Quite good, but they definitely should have uh, increased the uh, optimization. Of it. 
This is where I get a healing spell. Ah, the cavalry has arrived. Even where the filth corrupts, Gaia's power endures. Take it into yourself. Breathe it out. Will this broken body mend dead? Over here! Good, good. But even Gaia will be tested by what is to come. Making a stand? Wasn't working out. <laughs> yeah, so is that why you bravely retreated? This ain't looking much better, to be honest. Enter the now battle against the Now is not the time for argument. Now is the time to kick ass with a shotgun. Let's do that. We must reach the next platform. Well done! Opening. I think that's bad news. Yep, bad news. They're not stopping. And they will not stop. This is all to hold us back. Top marks for effort. Someone has to push through. This confusion may be all the time we have. I wonder who it is Someone? that will push through.
sure it gets harder. I hadn't even got out of the first area yet. I'm still in Kingsmouth, which is where I'll be headed with this character whenever I play him again. I'll just have to wait and see. Wait and see. At least it's loading fairly quickly. Leave now. They are asking for you. Oh, he was I'm standing over me. God, that's see. creepy. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. God, that's nasty. What's with your hand? Okay, well, um, just find those who are waiting for me, which are right here, right there, but I'm going to call this a video because, you know, that's a good introduction into the game, um, shows you how the combat works, talks about the different types of, uh, big three that there are, and you get to see the dragon aspect of it, and I think that's long enough because it's going to take me freaking forever to, uh, get this rendered anyway. <laughs> So, when we come back, if I come back, I might do a, like, you know, let's check out the Secret World series or something, maybe. I have too many other things going on right now to really do it, but, uh, you never know. Might use this character and stop him right here, and then next time I decide to record, just record what I'm doing. Like I said, the frames usually stay up pretty good. Uh, when I get to Kingsmouth, if I go inside the, the, I don't know, the quest hub area the frames get really low but see my frames just dropped for no apparent reason and I hadn't even moved so I don't know what's up with that I have no idea this game's got some weirdness going on so yeah see that's where they should be <laughs> man it's just it's like nine and just drop down to nine so I hope everybody enjoyed it uh, the graphics are really nice on the game yeah, you know everything looks really good game plays fairly well not the greatest but oh well they'll do optimizations the game's still in its infant stages as a new game anyway so they're doing major updates but uh hope you guys enjoyed it see you next time